you're probably drowning in AI news right now. Every day there's a new feature, a new tool, a new claim that's going to change everything. And let's be honest, most of it is noise. I get it. I spend hours every single day filtering through announcements, papers, and updates so you don't have to. And this week? There are actually seven stories that genuinely matter, including one that could change how millions of people communicate overnight. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts with our free weekly newsletter. Click the link in the description below to subscribe. You will get the key AI news, tools, and learning resources to stay ahead. So in this video, I'm breaking down the biggest AI news of the week. From OpenAI's image generator, getting a serious upgrade to Google's new agent that literally reads your Gmail and tells you what to do. We'll also cover a controversial move from OpenAI that's already sparking debate, plus some research that might change how you prompt AI forever. Let's start with the one that creative professionals are going to love. OpenAI's image tool gets way faster and smarter. OpenAI just dropped a major upgrade to ChatGPT images, and this one's actually impressive. The new system runs on GPT Image 1.5, and here's what matters. It generates images up to four times faster while keeping the details sharp. Lighting, facial structure, composition, all of it. But here's where it gets interesting. The biggest improvement isn't speed, it's control. Before, if you asked for a small change, the AI would basically start over. Now, it edits only what you ask it to. You can add objects, remove elements, blend images, or swap out specific parts while keeping everything else intact. For anyone doing creative work, marketers, designers, content creators, this is huge. You can actually iterate on a concept without watching the AI destroy your progress every time you make a tweak. OpenAI even teased the release with an AI-generated yearbook photo of Sam Altman, which honestly looked eerily realistic. This update moves ChatGPT images from fun toy territory into something that could genuinely fit into a professional workflow. Google's Gemini agent now reads your Gmail. Google Labs just unveiled something called CC, and if this works as promised, it could change how you start your mornings. CC is a productivity agent powered by Gemini that connects directly to your Gmail, Calendar, and Google Drive. The standout feature? Every morning, it sends you an email called Your Day Ahead. It scans everything, then gives you a single summary of meetings, deadlines, bills, and anything time-sensitive. But wait, it gets better. You can actually email CC back and ask it to draft replies, schedule meetings, or send calendar links. Your inbox basically becomes a command center instead of just a place where emails go to die. Because it lives inside Google's ecosystem, CC can cross-reference your emails with your calendar and documents. So if you have a meeting coming up, it might automatically surface the relevant Google Doc you need. Now, this is still in testing through Google Labs, but it signals exactly where Google is heading. AI that works quietly in the background, organizing your life without you constantly telling it what to do. OpenAI planning an age-gated, mature mode by 2026. All right, this one's generating some conversation. OpenAI has confirmed they're introducing an adult-only mode for ChatGPT, scheduled for early 2026. Fiji Simo, OpenAI's CEO of Applications, disclosed the timeline during a briefing for GPT 5.2. Here's how it'll work. If the system can't verify your age, ChatGPT defaults to an under-18 experience. Adults who want access to mature content will need to verify their identity using government ID through a third-party service. Sam Altman has been pretty vocal about this philosophy. Adults should be treated like adults, not restricted by blanket safety rules designed for everyone. At the same time, they're building in automatic protections for minors. Whether you think this is the right move or not, it's definitely one of the most significant shifts in how mainstream AI platforms handle content moderation, user autonomy, and age verification. This is worth watching. This is worth. Google Translate now does real-time audio translation. 
Google is rolling out a new feature that might quietly become one of the most useful AI tools of the year. Their new Gemini-powered real-time audio translation works with any headphones. No special hardware required. You hear live translations of spoken language while the system preserves the original speaker's tone, emphasis, and cadence. So instead of that flat robotic voice we've all heard, the translation actually sounds human. Think about the applications here. Meetings with international clients, traveling in countries where you don't speak the language, attending lectures in a foreign language. The friction just drops dramatically. Google's clearly embedding Gemini into as many everyday tools as possible. And this one has real potential to reduce language barriers for millions of people. If it works well at scale, this could be genuinely transformative. Beyond the headlines. All right, let's rapid fire through three more stories you should know about. Expert mode in LLMs doesn't actually make them smarter. Here's one that might change how you prompt. Researchers from Wharton and partner institutions tested whether giving AI an expert persona, like telling it to act as a lawyer or respond as a physicist, actually improves accuracy. The result? It doesn't. At least not consistently. Across their tests, expert personas showed limited impact on whether answers were actually correct. Now the researchers do note some limitations. They used exam-style questions and measured right or wrong outcomes. In real-world use, the style and framing might still help. But if you've been relying on persona prompts to get better facts, this research suggests you might want to rethink that approach. Oral exams are making a comeback to outsmart AI cheaters. This one's fascinating. According to the Washington Post, university professors are bringing back oral exams specifically because of AI-assisted cheating. Essays and online tests are just too easy to game with tools like ChatGPT now. So educators are going old school. Face-to-face -face assessments where students have to explain concepts, defend arguments, or walk through code in real time. Professors say it's not just about catching cheaters. Oral exams actually strengthen critical thinking and communication skills. In a world saturated with AI, they're becoming a more authentic measure of whether someone actually understands the material. AI detects dementia via EEG with 97% accuracy. And finally, some genuinely exciting medical AI news. Researchers at Örebro University in Sweden developed AI models that detect dementia by analyzing EEG brain signals. The system distinguishes healthy individuals from patients with Alzheimer's and frontotemporal dementia with over 80% accuracy. But here's the impressive part. A privacy-focused version using federated learning, where models train across institutions without sharing sensitive data, achieved accuracy above 97%. The researchers say this could make early dementia detection faster, cheaper, and way more accessible. We're talking potential for routine screenings in clinics or even at-home testing down the line. This is the kind of AI application that genuinely matters. That's the AI news that actually matters this week. If you found this helpful, drop a like and let me know in the comments. Which story surprised you the most? I actually read every comment and it helps me figure out what to cover next. Subscribe if you want to stay ahead of the AI curve without wading through all the noise. I'll see you in the next one.